Hey, this is Corey Hassman, and thank you for tuning in to another video. Today, I'd like to talk about the differences between the off season and the strong season. Now, typically, come the Super Bowl, which is coming up this weekend, we see a surge in homes going up on the market. This happens to be for whichever purposes, because when we go into February, March, April, and then into the summer, we see the most variety in inventory on the market. Furthermore, after we get into September or after Labor Day weekend, the amount of homes that are on the market starts to dip. Now, you can look at this as being either a buyer's market or a seller's market based on the amount of homes that are being put on for sale. But at the same exact time, it also shows you when the right time to buy might be. Now, this is a similar concept to what we've spoken about in the past, where over the years we see that it might be a seller's market or a buyer's market, but this is slightly different just because it's seasonal. Now, we see over the summer that when a home next door to yours might be up for sale, it might entice that other owner to put their home up for sale as well because they may be able to have the most out of the value of the home versus when there's no other homes on the market and they may not have a comparable property that might be able to support why they want to put the home up for that number. Now, vice versa, for buyers, this is really important because it shows that you don't have to be stuck to just looking at one or two properties that may not interest you the most. You may have, like I noted, more properties to see on the market because that might interest you in, you know, five, six, seven, eight versus just being stuck to going to one in a certain area that you'd like or the city or any other uh, suburb that, you know, you are interested in, in moving into. We see that for whichever purposes, again, after the Super Bowl, every home starts being put up on the market that maybe they were waiting for two or three months. This has been a, 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 a concept for a really long time, and it's shown that if you are looking to put your home up on the market sometime soon, you might wanna do it sometime in the mid-February to early March point, so that you have the amount of time from March to, I would say, uh, August, to have the most amount of people looking at it and the most value for your home as well. If you have any other interest in learning about some of the topics that I noted today, please make sure to let me know and I would love to make another video about it. Thanks so much and have a great day.